Hey everyone, and welcome to day 24 of the 30 day Pilates journey, finding your center. Uh, I'm Kaylin, and I thank you guys so much for joining me here again today. Today, we're gonna be working on all in standing on our balance. We're gonna be doing a lot of single leg work. We're gonna be working on activating the glutes and seeing how that helps us with our balance and our stability, and how that all connects into our core center to keep us more stable and supported. So um, for props today, I would like you to grab a block and a foam roller if you have it. If you don't have a block, I would um, bring your computer or phone, whatever you're using, to, a, uh, to your stairs for this first part where we're going to be doing um, something, as long as you have something this height, that is that would be great. So block or stairs is perfect. If you have a foam roller, great. If not, you might need to just hold onto a wall or the back of a chair or something to find some more stability if you're losing balance. Um, so go ahead and grab these. And then once you have them, we're gonna go ahead and place the block on the floor or bring yourself over to your stairs. Okay, so in this position here, I want you first to just Spread all four corners of your feet, especially your toes, right? Maybe even lift the toes up, wiggle them around, and then place the toes back down. And maybe just kind of rock a little bit here forward and back. So the foam roller is really, again, just gonna be for balance. So if you just find that you need to um, grab onto it while we're working, you just have it close by here. And then go ahead and plant the feet here, right? So the, the feet, this nice, spreading and grounding through the feet, that's gonna help us even more in these balance exercises. So that's why it's good to have a really um, strong footing on your floor, on your mat. Also, I would say that if your mat is extra squishy, you might wanna do some of these exercises more on a, like a thin carpet or um, a hardwood, although the hardwood might uh, be a little bit slippery. So um, just another side note. So let's start now with what we call our pelvic list. And I'm gonna have you bring your right foot onto your block and make sure your heel is on the block still. Now you can feel here that the pelvis should be level when you lift this left leg off. So both legs are straight, maybe the right knee is slightly bent, but we don't wanna bend this knee anymore as we start to move the pelvis. So here, right, engage through this glute. This is what's gonna be working, okay? So think of kind of pushing the hips forward a little bit, lifting up through our core. You should feel this activating as well. Now keeping both legs again straight, you wanna start to let this other hip, your left hip drop down. This hip will kind of kick out to the side. And then you activate the right hip and glute to lift this leg back up. So all the movement is coming from this right side, right? You might feel that, right, it's coming from this other side here, but it's the movement from here that's initiating what's happening on the other side. So you're just gonna keep this moving. That left foot will not fully touch the floor, so you'll keep that foot flexed. And again, think of engaging through this glute here to pull the hip down and lift the other side up. Shouldn't take too many here to start really feeling this here, right? You're gonna feel kind of a, a burning or maybe a tiredness in that right side as you keep going. Good, let's just do a few more here on this side. Again, staying strong and tall here. Good. Last one. Good, now go ahead and step off fully, maybe come to the side. And then again, use your roller if you need to. Keep your right foot on the floor, keep the pelvis steady. Engage through this right glute. All I want you to do is lift this left leg off the mat. I just want you to balance and hold here. So already you should feel a lot of work here just from what we activated. And now it's staying engaged so that you don't drop the left hip down, but keep it lifted so that pelvis stays parallel. Let's just hold for five, four, three, two, one, good, place that foot down. All right, I'm feeling that side already. So let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So the left foot comes onto your block. Good, find the pelvis nice and level. Again, slight bend in that left knee if you need to. Engage the glute, pull up in your core, and then start to lower and lift. That's that other side, that right side. 
but that's happening by engaging and letting go in this left glute here, right? So that right side is just along to the ride. Good. Keep that moving. Again, keep both knees straight. If you're bending that rooted leg on your block, you're not going to be doing your glutes any favors. So keep that leg nice and straight. So let's do five more. Four. Three. Last two. And last one. Good. All right, step off. Now I want you to keep this left leg grounded and find that stability. Root down through that left glute as you start to lift this right leg. Take your hands off the block or I mean off your roller if you want an extra challenge. Again, engage that glute, lengthen through your lower back here and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good, place that foot down. Okay. So go ahead and bring your roller, if you have one, to the top of your mat. Go ahead and let the block just come to the floor. Now, come to the other end of your mat and face forward. So we're gonna start first, again, with the single leg lifts that we were just doing. Maybe bring your hands onto your hips. I want you to stay level with the pelvis. Lift your right leg up into tabletop, good, place it down as you step forward and then lift the other side up. So we're trying to do this without tipping the pelvis, trying to stay nice and steady. Good, at the top of your mat, your right foot comes down, your left leg is gonna lift. Good, so now here, maybe hold on to that foam roller. I want you to start moving this left leg forward and back with control. So we're not necessarily swinging it. We're just easing through this movement here, moving right at the hip flexor. And you should feel this right glute staying engaged. So don't lose that. Keep that stabilization in your pelvis and in your core. Let's do two more. Two. Last one. Good, now I want you to take this left leg, start to bend into your right knee just a little bit to stabilize. Keep the hips parallel, keep the spine in neutral. Start to hinge forward as you sit into this right glute. Maybe extend that left leg back. Good, hold it here. Place the left foot down so you're on the tips of the toes here. Good, now again, hinge forward at that hip Engaging that right glute, keep your belly lifting in and up. Your spine is nice and long. Hold it here for three, two, one. Good, use that right glute, step into that right leg to lift that left leg back up to tabletop. And then go ahead and place it down. We're gonna go ahead and switch all that to the other side. So maybe walk your roller to the top of your mat. All right, so this time we wanna end up with our left foot down on the mat. So let's see if I can get this right here. Let's lift our, our left leg up to tabletop. Good, keep that, that pelvis squared off and then place that foot down. Bring your right leg up now. Good, place that foot down. Bring your left leg up. Good, place it down. Good, now bring your right leg up again. Good, this time finding that stability here. So engaging through that left glute, really feel it strong, right? If you put your hand on your glute, you should feel that muscle contracting. All right, now you're gonna start to move this right leg without tipping or moving the pelvis or the upper body, okay? So we're just starting to open up into this right hip. Good, keep that left glute turned on. Last one. Good, bend into the left knee now just a little bit. Good, start to bring this right leg back behind you. Good, sitting into this left heel. Again, still engaging, maybe straighten that back leg if you can. Okay, hold it here. Hold, 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 core is in. 
And then we bring that right leg back. So we're in a kind of a high lunge. Good, keep that left glute turned on, hinge forward at the hips here. Keep your core strong, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good, step into that left foot, use that glute to lift that right leg back up. And then place that right foot down. Go ahead and shake it out. All right, so let's go ahead and face the end of your mat again this way. And we're gonna sink into a squat with both feet on the floor and then we're gonna move one leg at a time. So you're gonna keep your legs hip distance apart. Good, pull that core in and now start to sit back onto your heels, hinging at the hips, right? So it should be a nice hinge of this hip joint here. Now keep your core pulling in, right? Maybe keep your hands on your hips here. Stay steady, transfer your weight to your right leg as you send your left leg back to that kind of crest or high lunge position. Good, now switch to the other leg. Bring that left leg in, stay in the squat, send that right leg back. Good, and again, bring that right leg in, send that left leg back. This would be where it would be good to have that foam roller here if you need that extra stability. Right, but the goal is to keep that, the weight back into the heels as you move, back into the glutes, right, of that standing leg. Good, let's do one more each side. Good, try not to shift the hip to the pelvis too much as you move. Good, bring both feet back together and then go ahead and stand all the way up. Awesome, all right. So now, go ahead and come into the center of your mat. I'm actually gonna come onto the hardwood floor so that I have a little bit more stability since my mat is a little bit thick. So from here, I want you to stay on your right leg and I want you to go ahead and bring this left knee up, again, without shifting that pelvis, right? Engage through that right glute. And you're gonna start to open and close this knee. Again, this is where it would be nice to have this roller here to find this stability. Good. And then maybe eventually you try it without the roller. It's getting some nice opening in this hip as we stay rooted and grounded here. Good. Now, if you can, bring this opposite hand behind your head. Now, when the knee comes forward, the elbow comes forward. When the knee opens, the elbow opens. Good. Keeping though the ribs pulled in, so when the elbow comes back, the ribs aren't popping out. Good. Two more, two. Last one. Good, now hold here. You can bring the hand back onto the hip. I want you to lift the leg up, extend the leg forward, bend it in, open it to the side. Good, do that again. Come forward, extend, open and to the side. Good, extend, down and open. Two more. Good, no shifting in your pelvis here. Ah, let's do one more. Good, open and back to center. Woo, really feeling that glute there on this side. Let's go ahead and do this on the other side. So, left leg grounded. Right, without hiking this hip up, bring your right hip up. Stay engaged here in this glute. Right, and also don't let the, the hip drop down, stay level. All right, start here, just by opening and closing that knee. Getting some nice hip work here. Sneaking that in. Good, back to center. Good. Now, if you can take this other hand, I'm gonna switch Put my fingers over here. We're gonna add that open and close of the opposite elbow. Good. And when the elbow comes forward, you slide the shoulder down. Last three. Last two. Last one. You can hit, bring the hand back on the hip. And we're gonna Extend this leg, or lift the leg up, keeping it lifted, extend the leg forward, bend, open, forward, straighten, 
bend, open. Good. And open two more sets. You got this. Last one. Good. Open and back to center. Nice job. Oh. All right, so we're gonna combine this. I want you to come back to the end of your mat. So coming this way, right? Have that roller there if you need it. Now, we're gonna stand up first. And I want you to keep your, let's see, let's start with our left leg down first and bring our right leg up so that the knee, the foot is touching the knee. So right, just like what we're doing. Now, my roller's in a bad spot there. All right, so don't have the roller right in front of your leg. So I want you to hold here. I want you to extend the leg just like you did, bend it. Good, open it, close it, extend it again. Now start to, as you bend the knee, you're gonna to start to bend into the other knee as you start to hinge back, just like you did before, right? Eventually that right foot's gonna to come to the floor and you're in this beautiful high lunge. Good, hinging at the hips. Maybe you had the arms reaching forward. Good, and then you step into that left foot as you come back up. Place that right foot down, switching to the other side. Lift that left leg up. Good, we extend the leg, bend, open, bring it back in, extend. Good, as you bend that leg, that left leg comes back, start to bend into this right knee. Send the left leg back. Good, pull the center in, reach the arms long, otherwise keep them at your sides. And then step into that right leg, lift you back up, place that foot down. We're gonna do a couple more sets. So we lift that right leg, we extend, bend, open, back in, extend. Good, bring it back, weight in the heel, bring that foot down. Good, hinging at the hips, core strong, arms reach out. Good, think of squeezing your inner thighs together. Step into that left leg, bring yourself up. Right leg comes on, bend that left knee, extend, bend, open, back to center, extend, bend, bend the knee. Good, start to hinge forward, place the foot down. Good, core in. Glutes strong, arms forward. Good, and then coming back up, place that foot down. Let's do one more on each side. Lifting that right leg, extend, bend, open. Good, extend, bend. Step into this left um, glute as you send the right leg back. Core in, belly strong, arms reach. Good, step into that left foot. As you come back up, plant that right foot, left leg lifts. Good, hold here, extend that leg out, bend it in, open, close. Extend, bend that right knee with control. Gauging that glute, we send that leg back, hinging forward. Good, pull that right hip back, reach the arms up. Good, step into that right foot and come all the way up to standing. All right, we're gonna finish up with a standing figure four stretch. So still getting that balance work here. Let's start on our left leg and let's do it this way. Let's start on the left leg, lift the right leg up, cross the right leg, right ankle over the left knee and we start to sit back into the left glute and hip here, right? So we're getting this beautiful hip opening stretch on this right side. Good, and again, gauging through your core. Good, one more deep breath here. Good, press into that left leg to come up to standing. Now take this right leg, cross it over the left. Good, start to hinge forward. You're gonna start to bend into the right knee, the front knee. Good, so trying to stick a stay with a flat back first. And then you'll round forward, bring your hands to the mat. Maybe they come to your block if you need to. Let your head come down, bend into that 
right knee a little bit deeper, you should feel that stretch in that outer left hip. Good, one more breath. Good, start to lengthen through your spine first. Good, coming to that flat back and then we hinge back up to standing. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So right foot stays grounded, left leg is gonna lift first and then we cross it over, flex through that ankle. Good, sit back into that right glute. So we're still getting that balance work, that strength work here on this side. So we open up that other side. So we've got the stretch on one side, the strength on the other. Keep your spine long, core is in, right? So you'll feel the difference. As soon as, soon as you start to let the belly go, let the ribs go, you're gonna feel that this is harder, especially on your lower back. So pull everything in, right? Keep it nice and strong here. That's gonna keep you more stable too. Now start to press into this right foot. So you stand up, uncross the legs, or keep the legs crossed, but bring that foot in front of the other. Good, start to bend into your left knee a little bit as you hinge forward, flat back, and then you come forward, hands come to the mat, bend into that knee a little bit more, finding that hip stretch on this side. Good, one more inhale. Good, then exhale, start to lift the chest as you come into that flat back, hands on the hips and then start to come all the way back up to standing. Ah, oh, you guys did it. That was a good one. Hopefully you're feeling all this good work through here, all this good stability work happening here. Always continue to work on that balance. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think below. Um, if you're interested in getting a little bit more stretching for that upper body, I'm gonna go ahead and link to a standing stretching and flexibility workout here. Um, if you'd like to get a little upper body work now, I'm gonna link to an upper body workout here too. So thank you guys, finishing up day 24 today, um, moving right, right along and I'll see you back here tomorrow for day 25. I'll see you then.